Disney friends and welcome back to Do Up A Day, a place where we talk Disney. I am so glad that you decided to stop by today because today's video is something I have been looking forward to for a really, really long time. In fact, some of you may have found out about this video through some previous videos that have been made on other channels telling you about it. So today's video is the No Place Like Home box swap put together by the wonderful, beautiful Ajana Claire from over at Zoelle's World. So please be sure to follow Ajana Claire on her YouTube channel and give her a like and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow her over at Instagram where you will find some details about a giveaway related to this box swap that you absolutely will not want to miss. There are some great prizes to be won. So in case you are happening to come across this video and you don't know any of the previous information about it, the 50 states um, No Place Like Home box swap is just what it sounds like. People from all over the country that are Disney fans put together a box to represent either their state or a state that they wanted to represent and sit a box all about that state to another member of the YouTube community in another state. Um, so I have been so anxious to see what state I'm being gifted for this box swap. And I was really excited to put together a box from Idaho for my own box, even though I am not from Idaho, I'm from South Carolina, but alas, the person who put this box lot together also is from South Carolina, so there was no chance of me getting South Carolina, and that's totally okay. It was a chance to learn about two new states instead of just one, and so I really got the better deal, I think, as it turns out. Um, so I for this box swap, we were asked to give our preferences, and part of our preferences were for us to say whether we would like a box that was mostly Disney, mostly our state, or mostly a combination, or not mostly, but a 50-50 combination um, between the state and Disney. Um, I actually requested a mostly state box because while I absolutely adore Disney stuff, um, I also think that it's really cool to have the opportunity to get things from a state that I just don't have the chance to go to very often. And I think it's a cool chance to learn about other places. Um, now, if this box turns out to be mostly Disney, you know this girl's going to be happy too. So no matter what the, my gifter did for my box, um, I will not be disappointed. Um, I already saw from the address um, who my box is from, and I'm really excited because this person is really special, and I think that they're really amazing. Um, I did already pre-cut my box because you guys just don't want to have to watch me struggling to open a box. We've done that before. I've been there, done that, don't want to go back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So and I, 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 will, I will say I had a theory about where this box is from. My theory is Georgia because it says um, contains peanuts and I know Georgia's like the peanut capital of the world. Um, what's his name? Like the little peanut guy um, is from Georgia. So anyway, I could be wrong, but I'm kind of curious to see if my theory is right. So when I open up my box, I see this lovely legendary shop Disney tissue paper that we all love. And I'm going to save that because I don't want to mess it up. And I might can use that in a future box swap. And right on top, I see a sweet card that says No Place Like Home to Rebecca Bell from Dole Up A Day. And it has a cute little Mickey and Friends sticker on it. And look at this. It has Joy from Inside Out on the back. Joy is a wonderful emotion, and I just love Joy from Inside Out. And also, we kind of have the same haircut. My hair's not blue, but the haircut's the same. Let's open up the card and see what it says. Home sweet home. Furnish it with friendship. Decorate it with laughter. Warm it with love. This card is definitely going up on my board back here. I love that quote. This says, Hello, Rebecca. Happy box swapping. It is such an honor, and may I say even a blessing to have been designed, assigned to do this super fun box swap for you. Thank you. I will confess that at first I was nervous to swap with someone I've never met before, but after watching your videos and hearing your story, all I can say is, wow, it is humbling to be able to curate a box for a woman that embodies the cherry Disney princess spirit. Oh my gosh, this is going to make me cry. You are so inspirational, so courageous, so beautiful inside and out. Seeing that even after all you've gone through and struggle with, you are smiling and you are going to have a smile on your face. Your heart is super sweet. I'm proud to be able to say that I know of such a strong individual like you. Oh my gosh, thank you. All your dreams will just continue to come true because you keep on going. The world needs more people like you. Thank you so much. 
I really do hope you like and enjoy the items I got for you based on your mostly state preference and that I hit the nail on the head with all of them. If not, I'm sorry. Oh, girl, I know I'm going to love it. Although I'm not technically from this state, all of the items are from authentic shops. Oh, what a cool way to do it. Um, directly located in this state. Some are even staple items. I hope you like them and some you can even share or use at work with your kiddos. Again, happy box swapping. Much love, Abby. Miss Abby Solo. Oh my gosh, Abby. That This note means so much to me. Um, your words, and it's been a hard week at work, so your words just really touched me um, where I needed a little bit of inspiration this week. So thank you so much. Um, and I am so excited to get into this box. I'm saving this card for sure. This is special. All right, so there's some more tissue paper on top. And it looks like everything is individually wrapped. How lovely. Okay, I don't know if there's a particular order to open this in, so we will see. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna go with this first. This is kind of a cool shaped item. I can't wait to open it and see what it is. Look at the um, the plaid. I wonder if that's like a hint for the state because, and I say that, because also there is like a woodsy wrapping paper for this other package. And I'm kind of thinking that like, you know, woodsy, like lumberjack, like maybe it's somewhere where there's a lot of forest, mountain, something like that. Let's see what it is. All right. Naughty Woodworks, custom built furniture and home goods. Dream as big as the Montana sky. I got Montana. Whoa. Now this is cool because I don't know anything about Montana. So I'm so excited. Oh, and this is beautiful. Oh my word. This is going to have to go up in my new bedroom here at um, the International House. Oh, it's lovely. It's got like a greenish wash to it. It says dream as big as the Montana sky. And goodness knows that I love to dream. A dream is a wish your heart makes. And I make lots of wishes in my heart. Um, and it's got beautiful like dandelions being blown across the sky. That is so pretty. And I love that this is like handcrafted. That just gives it like this it's, dare I say sacred quality. It comes from another soul who crafted it with their hands. That is so special. Thank you so much, Abby. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna reach into the box for the next item. So this one's soft, can't wait to see what it is. Is it a pillow? <gasps> I love it. Okay, so this is a Dumbo pillow and I love Dumbo. Dumbo is the sweetest Disney character, without a doubt, the sweetest. This is precious. Look at this pillow. That is so cute. This is going right on my bed. I'm getting so many things to decorate my new bedroom with in my new house. And so, Abby, I love it. Oh, I just want to hug it forever. Thank you so much. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, I think this is, yeah, that was package protection. Next, I see another square item. Okay, so there's something on top. Greetings from Montana Souvenir Postcard Booklet. Now, this is cool. I love postcards. In fact, I collect postcards, and I have, like, a photo album that I put all of them in. So this is awesome. And I don't think Abby even knew that. Well, there's no way she could have known that. So, wow, she was really reading my my um, vibes. <laughs> okay, so let me show you all the different cards that are in here. So there's the state of Montana. Here are some cowboys, the bon Bonanza state. Have you guys ever seen the old show Bonanza? Uh, me and my family love that show. Hitting the high spots in Montana. There's something about the mountains and cowboys. Skiing. I have been skiing before. Um, greetings from Montana. Let's see, Montana State Capital, Helena, Montana. So I guess, is it Helena or Helena? If you're from Montana, let me know. Um, but there's the building 
That's really cool. This is so fun to learn about a state I don't know about. Glacier National Park. Oh, it has a national park. Ooh, this is like the perfect Christmas scene. Old Faithful and Lodge in winter. This is cool. Thank you so much. All right, now there's something else in this same package. Montana Quick Facts. It's a book. Y'all, I love books so much. 100 Surprising and Strange Facts About Montana, written and illustrated by Josh Quick. I love that. Quick Facts by Josh Quick. How perfect. Um, oh, this is a cute little book. I bet this is one of those things that she said I could use with my class. I definitely will. Let's read a fact. Let's see. Winifred Montana Museum has over 3,000 Tonka toys. Now, my little boys in my class would love to hear that fact. What's something else? Kukanusa. Kukanusa Lake has the longest and tallest bridge in Montana. The name is from a combination of Kootenai in Canada and USA. Kukanusa. <laughs> That's cute. And it says, Teacher Alice Beers from Rexford, Montana invented the name. You go. See, it's a teacher fact. I love it. Frontier Town. That's like Frontierland. Um, was a single-handedly built western town. Reconstruction. Some of the tourist attractions were a cute Cupid shop, Bear Vision, 50-inch long log bar, and pretty views from McDonald Pass, Montana. I can't wait to look at this book some more. I'm going to become a Montana expert. I'm going to know more about Montana than the people who live there. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so what's next? Oh, Tiny Notes. Ooh, what's this? I love stationery, so this is exciting. Tiny Notes. So many uses. Place cards, gift tags, lunchbox notes, little hellos. The possibilities are endless. Oh, I don't want to break the box. Let's see. So are these like little encouragement notes? Oh, these are cool. So they have the Montana mountains on them. And they also have a little like mountain scene on the back. And basically these are like little cards you can write on to leave notes for people or to write yourself reminders, um, to leave your phone number for people. I know people are like always asking for your phone number. Um, not like creepy people, but like, you know, people I work with. Um, this is the perfect place to write that. Um, the kids here at the International House, this would be perfect to like leave um, next to their breakfast with an encouraging note or to put in their lunchbox um, or, you know, to send a little note home with the kids when they have a great day and I want their parents to know about it. Um, those are really cool. Thank you so much. So many uses for that. Okay, the next item. Ooh, this looks like a lot of different items. Let's see. I think it's a pin on top. Oh, it is. It's a Disney Beauty and the Beast Special Edition Key Pin. Now, I've never seen this pin before, but it is beautiful. Um, let me show you it up close so you can see all the nice details. So it has the Beauty and the Beast VHS cover like as like the central part of the key. Then it has the um, Bell's Castle as the per part that you turn. Um, that is really nice, and I can't wait to put this as part of my Beauty and the Beast pin collection. Thank you so much. The next item are some stickers. I love some stickers. I love to decorate my journals with stickers and my water bottle. Okay, I got to look at these one by one. So we've got Thumper from Bambi. We've got Bambi and Thumper and Flower. And I love how these are like woodland creatures because it's Montana too. So Bambi is a woodland creature. Um, there's Bambi again. Hello. Happy Bambi. Look at these sweet, sweet stickers. There's so many of them. I don't think I can even show them all to you because there's so many here. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look at all those stickers. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Now, if I ever do a bulletin board with woodland creatures, which I like to do in the fall in my classroom, these would actually go really well on my bulletin board, or I can put some of these in the prize box 
and some of the kids can take them home as prizes, um, which would so make them happy and make me happy because they're happy. Um, this box is amazing. Okay, let's see what else is in here. I think there's one thing left. Oh, there's, yeah, there's one big thing left. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this says Montana Gift Corral. But look at this beautiful wrapping. I really don't want to break this wrapping paper because it's so gorgeous. Y'all be sure to go over and give Abby some love. Let's see. I didn't bring my scissors with me. And I'm filming on my phone, so I can't really edit. So I'm trying not to um, get up to go get the scissors. But I might have to. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Ouch. I'm hurting my fingers. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna get my scissors. Thankfully, those were just a hop, skip, and a jump away. So, what? There we go. That makes life so much easier. Thank heaven for whoever invented scissors. You know who else I thank heaven for? Whoever invented the quiet game. I was thinking that today at school while I was teaching. <laughs> All right, so let's open this up. This is something fragile. The box was marked fragile, so. This side up, handle with care. All right, let's. Handle with care. I'm so excited. Okay, ooh, here's some Montana treats. So here's Montana Mountain Crutch, and it's got purple in it, which is like my favorite color. Gourmet popcorn, yogurt pretzel bites, yum. This is, this is staying in my room because I don't want the teenagers to steal it from me, um, but yum, I'm excited. There's no better way to get to know a place than by tasting their foods. So I'm gonna feel like a true, is it Montanan, Montanian? I'm gonna feel like a true Montana native when I eat this stuff. All right, and here's something else. It's huckleberry caramels. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try one of these now. Wild huckleberry caramels, fresh cream, real butter. Let's see. I'm gonna taste one right now. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's so good. I'm going to set this aside because you guys probably don't want to, actually, I'm just going to hold it. You guys probably don't want to see me eat the rest of this on camera, but it's so good. It's like taffy almost. Like it doesn't really have a caramel taste. It has like a berry, like a blueberry, blackberry kind of flavor. And I love it. Thank you so much. Montana wild huckleberry old fashioned caramels. You guys need to try these. Mm, I, it's all I can do not to finish eating it right now. Okay, I also have Montana Huckleberry Lemonade. Ooh, turns Huckleberry purple. Just add water. Um, yum. And it tells you how to make it like iced into a cider, how to make it hot like a tea. I'm excited to try that. And the artwork on the front is so pretty too. Cool. Okay, now, too bad, I'm gonna eat it. Mm. Sorry, I put you guys through that. Look at this adorable ornament. It is a little reindeer with the ornament hanging from its antlers. And it says Montana on it. I have never gotten an ornament from Montana before. So I'm so excited. That is cute as a button. Oh my goodness. 
That is so cute. And I cannot wait to use that in my holiday decorating next year. Oh my gosh. This is like craftsmanship and like, wow. And then there's a book. Wow, this is so much. I am so blown away. Montana for Kids, The Story of Our State, written and illustrated by Alan Morris Jones. Mountain Men, Homesteaders, Flight of the Nez Perce, First Peoples, Bison, Lewis and Clark, Battle at Little Bighorn, Logging, Butte, American Indian Wars, Ranching, Horses, Copper Kings, Miners, Vigilantes, John Coulter, Steamboats, Railroads. I'm excited. That sounds like like the Wild West and so, so fun. Um, there's what the book looks like. And I'm going to read this to my kids too. Uh, so this talks about different things in Montana's history. So there's Bison. There's John Coulter. Indian Wars. Steamboats. I can't wait. I'm going to have to sit down tonight and just like look at this. Copper Kings. Influence of the railroads. I can't wait. Ranching. Oh, guys, one thing you should know about me is that I am really into, like, Little House on the Prairie slash, um, like, you know, being on a wagon train, going out west. Like, I'm really into, like, that part of history. So, this is amazing. Um, oh, my gosh. So, that, this is definitely so much. And I, I think that's everything, but I'm going to check just to make sure because I don't want to miss anything. Um, but I think that's everything. Okay, yeah, so it is everything. Guys, Abby, oh, this is above and beyond what you ever had to do. I am just so touched that you took the time to, like, actually reach out to places that are, like, shops that are from Montana to buy these items from. I'm so thrilled with the amount of handcrafted items, the food. Oh, we know we love food. Um, books. I mean, this box is just like, like if I went to Montana for the first time in my life and I had a bunch of money to spend and I were to get souvenirs, this is exactly what I would have picked out for myself. Um, you will have blown me away. Um, and now I really want to go to Montana. This has inspired me. Um, guys, you have got to check out all the videos for this swap. Um, there's some really cool stuff to see, some really great channels to support. Um, please check them out in the description box below. Like I said, don't forget to check out Ajana and Claire's giveaway and please go give some love to Abby because she deserves it and she gave so much love to me. Um, you guys take care and always remember there is a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Until next time, bye-bye.